Shalom, Ba'alayim, Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shah, Ba'ashim, Raka Kodash. Double honor to the apostles and elders at Great Millstone who taught me this truth. Peace and blessings to the hopeful elect that's doing the work of our Lord and our Savior, Yahweh Shah, and all fear Shalom. And we are at the end of our captivity here in America. All right. So this is the time to rejoice, regardless of the hell that we're going through throughout our current day to day. This is the time to rejoice. This is the book of Baruch, chapter four. And verse four, O Israel, happy are we for things that are pleasing to the Most High are made known unto us. And that's to the elect. Things that are pleasing to the Most High have been manifest unto us, has been revealed unto us due to Yahweh Shai shining the light in our lives. And that's to the hopeful elect, which is the way of salvation, which is the way back to the Most High through Yahweh Shai. That has been made known unto us. And that's the hopeful elect. Verse five, be of good cheer, my people, the memorial of Israel. Ye are sold to the nations, not for your destruction, but because ye moved the Most High to wrath, ye were delivered into the enemies. And that's why we are here in America, all right? Because we broke the laws, statutations, and commandments of the Most High, all right? Verse 7, for ye provoked him that made you by sacrificing unto devils and not to the Most High. And yeah, we have two-thirds of our people still sacrificing unto devils, all right? Right here in America. That's why they are two-thirds of our people, because they will not come back to Yahweh Shah, which is the way of our salvation, which is the way back to the Most High, all right? But we are living in the times that the hopeful elect has woken up, all right? And the things pertaining to salvation has been made manifest unto us, all right? This is uh, Baruch 4 and 18. For he that brought these plagues upon you will deliver you from the hands of your enemy. And that's uh, um, the faith and the patience of the saints. All right. Because the same one that brought us into this captivity, which is Yahweh Wah Yahweh Shah, due to us rebelling, all right, against Yahweh Wah Yahweh Shah, we have faith that Yahweh Wah Yahweh Shah will bring us up out of this captivity. Baruch 4 and 18 again. For he that brought these plagues upon you will deliver you from the hand of your enemy. All right. And who's the enemy that the Bible speaks of, of the uh, so-called Negroes, Latinos and Native Americans, the so-called modern day white man. All right. He is the enemy. He's the power that is that is set up over us. This is uh, Romans 13. In verse one, and it reads, let every soul be subject unto the higher powers, for there is no power but of the Most High. The powers that be ordained by the Most High. So the Most High set up the enemy, all right, which is which is the whipping stick of the Most High, the sword of the Most High, all right, uh, um, in the physical form, which is uh, the devil that the Bible speaks of, the so-called modern day white man, all right. The Most High have set up that power and we are, are subject unto the higher powers because they was ordained by the Most High. Verse two, whosoever therefore resisteth the power resisteth the ordinance of the Most High and they that resisteth shall receive to them damnation. All right. So we don't resist the powers that be. We know that Esau Edom was set up over us due to us falling away. All right. So I brought Romans 13 out to show that, hey, the, the powers that are set up are set up by the Most High. So they are not on their, their own time frame. All right. Obadiah speaks of the pride of thine heart has deceived thee. All right. So you have been deceived, uh, so-called modern day white man, starting with your top tier elites, that your power structure was set up uh, due to your own will or it shall go on. All right. And go on and go on, go on in wickedness, which is not so. And that's why we have the faith and the patience of the saints, all right, that the power that, is, that was set up by the Most High, all right, shall be taken down by the Most High. And we are going to put um, these these wicked uh, elites, starting with the wicked elites of the so-called modern-day white man, we're going to put them in subjection, all right, as long as we keep our faith in the Most High, all right, because to us, 
uh, keeping our faith in these times that we're living in, which we don't have that much longer to go, all right, we uh, are going to rule over our enemies, okay, long as we have patience. And we're going to rule over you Edomites the same way you rule, all right, over us. This is uh, Revelation 2 and 26. And it reads, and he that over and he that overcometh and keepeth my works unto the end, to him will I give power over the nations. And that's to the hopeful elect. Lord willing, we be a part of the elect body. And, and if we endure unto the end, all right, we shall receive that reward to have power over the nations. Verse 27, and he shall rule them with a rod of iron. As the vessels of a potter shall they be broken to shivers, even as I receive of my father. And that's right. That's what we're going to do to you, to you other nations, man, starting with Esau, Edom. All right. Because all of you nations, all right, has ruled over us. All right. And in, in a harsh way. So uh, Galatians says what? Six and seven. Uh, Whatsoever a man soweth, that shall he also reap. All right. Starting with Esau, Edom. Y'all have a, a soul number bloodshed and destruction, and that's what you're going to reap by the hands of the of the elect of the nation of Israel. All right, Lord willing, we hold fast to the word and we and we keep the works unto the end. All right, but with that, you know, I just want to do that little quick lesson. Lord willing, I pray that this been edifying and know that we don't have that long. All right, matter of fact, for I'm gonna close off on one scripture. Because we are at the end of, of the wicked's rulership, which are the so-called modern-day white man, starting with their top-tier elites. This is Lamentation 4 and 21. Rejoice and be glad, O daughter of Edom, that dwelleth in the land of Uz. The cup also shall pass through unto thee. Thou shalt be drunken and shall make thyself naked. All right, so you so-called... Uh, uh, white people, starting with your top tier elites, this is the time that you should rejoice. All right, this is the time that you should uh, go on trips, all right, max out credit cards, okay, enjoy yourself, all right, because that cup that you've given the Israelites shall pass unto you, that cup of slavery. Lamentations 4 and 22, the punishment of thine iniquity is accomplished, O daughter of Zion, which that's what I'm saying through the spirit. This is the end of our captivity, man. This is the time for us to rejoice regardless, regardless of the hell that we're going through throughout our day to day. Know that the kingdom is almost here. He will no more carry thee away into captivity. Yeah, it's, it's not going to be any more captivity after the kingdom of heaven. All right. It's going to be an everlasting kingdom. All right. Set up by Yahweh, Yahweh Shah. And it's going to be ran by Yahweh Shah and, and, and the rest. All right. Of his elect men. He will visit thine iniquity, O daughter of Edom. And that's that cup that shall pass unto you so-called modern-day white people, which is the daughter of Edom, you Edomites. He will discover thy sins. And that's right. That's what's taking place right now before the eyes of the world. All right? Uh, uh, Esau nakedness is being made bare. All, all of the, the, the bloodshed, all of the things that you've done in the past are, are being brought up, all right, and being brought to the light. Okay, but this is the last uh, go round for you Edomites. All right, so enjoy yourselves. Okay, with that, Barakat the Yahweh, Barakat the Yahweh Shah, Barakat the Yahweh, Barakat the Yahweh Shah, Barakat the Yahweh, Barakat the Yahweh Shah, call Halayim Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shah, Bahashim Raka Kodash. Double honor to the men who taught me this truth, the apostles and elders, a great millstone. Peace and blessings to the hopefully elect. Death to America.